Hi guys. So, um, we're going to be doing an exa another example. So we're going to be actually starting on, um, doing conjugates of complex numbers. So, um, basically, you know, I don't know if they have ever taught you for complex, you know, if they've ever, you know, if you have been taught these and you still don't get it, you know, um, it's not the end of the world. So we're just going to go over this problem. Um, I'm going to do video by video. I'm going to just do one example. So just to keep my videos short, just that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't go too long. So this one says 2 plus i over 6 minus i. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the conjugate of the bottom part. You see, because on the bottom, we're not supposed to have any imaginary numbers. Um, so we're basically, so you're basically going to say, you're going to multiply by 6 plus i on top and bottom, okay? And you basically do the same exact thing with... Um, with, with multiplication. So you would do the FOIL method. This is 12 plus 2i plus 6i plus i squared divided by 36 plus 6i minus 6i minus i squared, and this would be 12 plus 8i plus, and if you don't remember, i is equal to the square root of negative 1, so i squared is negative 1, so this is negative 1, and then divide it by 36 minus, and then these two cancel out, and so we have i squared, which is negative 1. So then we would have 12 minus 1 plus 8i over 36 plus 1, which is 12, or sorry, 11 plus 8i over 37. And some professors or some teachers want you to write it in standard form, which is basically, um, you know, like when you have a over b plus um, c i over d, or I mean, sorry, a, a over a over b plus, um, I'm just going to see a number a number n i over b, which is kind of, you know, or n over b i. Um, they want you to write it in two separate fractions, basically. So you're going to have 11 over 37 plus 8i over 37. And that would be your final answer for this one. I hope this helps, guys. I will go over another one in the next video. Bye, guys.